Welcome back, loves. This is Wig Life World. So today is going to be a video look at my routine wash and go. So please sit back and I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off with mixing my bentonite clay. This is a great clarifying Indian healing clay. Its job is basically to draw out impurities. So I will definitely leave some benefits in the corner. So for this, you're going to need the bentonite clay, some apple cider vinegar, a plastic bowl, two spoons, and one measuring spoon. So I'm going to start off by measuring out my bentonite clay. And it's very important that you mix this in a plastic cup or bowl so as not to draw out impurities from the metal. So for this, it's going to be important that you also measure out equal parts apple cider vinegar and equal parts bentonite clay. So once I have my bentonite clay in the cup, I am then going to make a short valley. This will ensure that when I add the apple cider vinegar, I avoid as least amount of clumps as possible and it also helps me mix it way better. So for myself, I'm also going to add some coconut oil and I'll be adding one teaspoon of coconut oil to my mix and then I will mix it until I get a consistency like this. So you want something that looks almost like cake batter. You want it thick enough to apply to your hair, but runny enough that it applies with ease. So now it's time to hop in the shower. And I am going to section my hair off into three sections. This definitely makes it easier for me to condition and detangle. So I'm going to do one, two, and three sections, and I'm going to start with the last section. So I'm going to begin with a pre-poo or co-wash, and the job of a pre-poo or co-wash is one, to detangle your hair and remove any shed hairs, and most importantly, it adds moisture to your hair before you clarify, cleanse, or shampoo. So once my hair is thoroughly drenched with lukewarm to almost hot water, I am gonna apply a generous amount of my conditioner and I am using Tresemme's line. And I'm gonna apply this to my hair, concentrating on the ends. Once it is thoroughly detangled, I'm gonna twist it up and move to the next section. So now it is time to apply our clarifying cleansing mask. So I'm going to start and I'm going to sit under my steamer for approximately 20 minutes. When I come back to the shower, I'm going to thoroughly wash my hair or rinse it from the clarifying clay. This step is very important because if you do not remove all the clay, you will unfortunately have dull and dry looking hair. Now it's time to apply our deep conditioner. So it's gonna be the same process. I'm gonna section my hair off and I'm gonna completely apply the conditioner to all three parts. It is very important for me that I use hot water or lukewarm water due to the fact that I have low porosity hair. So now that I have deep conditioned overnight, I'm gonna hop back in the shower and now it is time to style my hair. I have done a cold rinse on my hair in order to close the cuticles. So now I am going to be using Kinky Curly's Not Today. This is a great leave-in that offers great shine and it has definitely given me great definition in my curls. Once I have applied the Kinky Curly Not Today in my three sections, I am then going to follow up with some coconut oil. Coconut oil is great for shine, it also adds moisture, and it's going to help me seal in that leave-in. So once I have my coconut oil in, I am then going to proceed with my styler. And today I am using Kinky Curly's 
curling custard. So I did not like this custard at first, but over time it has definitely grown on me. Um, it definitely gives me great definition and it definitely holds my style in place. So once I am completed and I have styled all three sections, I will end up with something that looks like this. So as you can see, my curls are elongated, they are defined, and they are well moisturized. Now that my hair is styled, I am gonna go ahead and use my diffuser. These diffusers can be purchased at any beauty supply store, especially Sally's Beauty Supply. It attaches to your blow dryer, and I am going to use this on the medium setting and I'm gonna use high speed. So once I have my diffuser on, on my dryer, I will then place it on my head and hold it steady. This is very important in order to decrease the amount of frizz that I usually experience when I don't use my diffuser. For added volume, lift random sections and dry at the roots. To finish off my look, I'm gonna use some of the curly custard and I'm gonna apply it to the baby hers in the front. I'm also gonna apply it to the crown just so I can ensure that I lay all that frizz down. So now that I have styled my hair, I have this as a result. Well moisturized, well defined curls for my great wash and go. So this is Wig Life World and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.